G'day guys, welcome back to the channel once again, appreciate you tuning in. Well, uh, today I've got this SP700 drone from Snaptain. Uh, most of you guys are probably familiar with this one as it got released late last year, uh, just before Christmas I believe, uh, when there was quite a re few reviews out on this one. Um, but first off I'd like to say a big thank you to Snaptain for... Uh, the multiple attempts of trying to get this one out to me. Um, they had some logistical uh, issues with DHL where uh, this one actually got knocked back a couple of times at customs in uh, Hong Kong and then got sent back to them. So uh, I actually thought that I'd never have the opportunity to review this uh, SP700 drone or feature it on my channel, but uh, for that I'd like to say many thanks for to Snaptain for their persistence in actually sending me this one out. I actually told them after it uh, got sent back to them or bounced back to them a couple of times, uh, it's fine, don't don't even worry about sending me. But they were persistent and they said, no, we want you to try it out and feature on your channel. So big thanks to Snaptain for doing that. And I finally received it today. So uh, what today's video is going to be about is just a quick unboxing, guys. I know a few of you have probably already seen that, but this one is new to me since I only just got it today. So I'm not going to have time to, uh, you know, charge it all up and then fly it, uh, unfortunately, today because it is after midday at the moment. Uh, so I'll have to wait for, you know, the batteries to charge. And by the time I get all prepared, uh, it'll be re rather windy in the late afternoon. So I'll save that for another day. And... Uh so as you can see, this is a very familiar looking uh, style of drone. And uh, this one uh, promises to have a upgraded camera. Um, it's, it's apparently got a 2K camera compared to, you know, the MGX models. Um, well, the earlier models anyway. So uh, yeah, this has a bit of a different design to it. It's got the army camouflage design to it. With a bit of an angry face, so that's pretty cool. Looks like it's um, using Bugs 3 style props on this one, or Hubson props. So that's rather interesting. Uh, it's got age for 14 plus, so for teenagers and up. And we've got the usual features of a GPS drone. So we've got waypoints, video and photo, of course, because this is a camera quad, uh, drone. One key return, follow me, point of interest, which is uh, circle me mode or orbit mode, and GPS return. And on the back, we've just got this large, angry face. All right, guys, so um, I'm going to open it up now. We'll have a quick look in the uh, what we get in the box. And then um, in, a, in my next video on this one, I'll take it for a test flight. And then I'll possibly do a, a third video and we'll do a max range test on it. So stay tuned for those ones later on, guys. But at the moment, quick unboxing on the Snaptane SP700 GPS drone. Right, guys, here's the contents of the box. So we'll just go through some of the accessories that we get first. This one here is that uh, actual phone holder and ball socket that uh, you clip into your into the actual transmitter there, okay, to hold your phone. We have a little balance charger here for the 2S battery. You see there, 2S balance port. Um, this one is unlike uh, the other types of uh, charges that you get in this style usually you have a wall socket uh, transformer to plug into the wall but this one is actually comes with a uh, USB to micro USB cable so that's rather interesting um, it might take a while for the batteries to charge but I'm not too sure um, rather than having it in a wall socket you know plugged off the mains power we have a uh, screwdriver and the prop tool to uh, put in, you know, in the motors there and twist um, to get the props off easily. This runs off, I would say, the same modular battery. Yeah, it is. It's uh, the same uh, modular 2S battery as the MJX series that we're all used to. Uh, it's a 7.4 volt. Okay, 2S, 1800 milliamp hour, 25C. So exactly the same spec. And we've also got that uh, 
little um, XT30 connector and the balance lead just there for when you charge it. All right, let's get the drone out. Here is the SP700, guys, and uh, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. It's like a two-tone. We've got the camouflage, uh, army-style camouflage on the top. Some angry-looking eyes there and a <laughs> sharp-toothed mouth. Looks pretty aggressive. Uh, we also got the little sticker there for the, uh, the 2K camera. Okay. So that should take some good footage. And on the bottom of the fuselage of this uh, quadcopter, you can see that it's just gloss black. Okay. We have the SD card on the side here. So you put an SD card in it. It's probably going to be up to 32 gigabyte. Uh, most drones are. GPS drones, they can take up to 32. So you want a class 10 or ultra uh, SD card. Don't use a cheap generic one for the best possible bull results when taking video. Also, these motors look like they're 1806 sized motors. They look uh, reminiscent of the ones on the MJX series, the B2W or B2SE model. Okay, on the bottom of this polystyrene box, I won't bother taking them out, but you've got a full set of, of uh, propellers there. So an extra four. We also have the user manual here, which is on the bottom, along with the transmitter. Just have a real quick look through this. Try to keep this video pretty short. I don't want it dragging on too long. So SP700 manual. It would be in different languages as well. So you've got your menus. Everything you need to know, guys, about how to operate this drone. Flight operational guide. So everything you need to know, guys, the compass calibration, how to do all the spin maneuvers. All right, so there we go. And there should be some information on the app as well. So you've got your iOS and Android um, QR codes there to scan, to download the app. And the app is laid out there, Snaptain SP700 app there so all right so i might have a dedicated app rather than the other models that i've tried they they usually use snaptain era snaptain nova but it looks like this one has um a dedicated app okay just quickly take this out now here's your typical mjx style controller guys except it's got the snaptain logo so we have our GPS on and off just there. So once you have that off, that will be in ATI mode or altitude hold mode with that off. So if you want to fly around sort of like semi-manually, uh, the reason I say that is because it's not full manual. You still have altitude hold. But if you do want to fly around more aggressively in like a sporty type manner, uh, you can just turn the GPS off. That way when you let go of the sticks, it's not going to hit the air brakes and bounce back to its GPS position. But you can turn that on. On and off switch, okay, simple. This one is headless mode, on and off, I presume. It looks like it may be. Sorry if I'm wrong, uh, but that's what it looks like to me. I haven't used looked at the user manual, guys. I just took it out of the box then, as you, as you know. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, take off, uh, auto takeoff, auto land, the uh, arming of the motors, so before you take off, you have to press that once, and the motors will arm, and then you've got to press that once you land to turn the motors off. Return to home key, so when you want it to return to home, it will come back using that button. We've got the camera uh, button here too. It looks like a two-way button, so one uh, quick press will be for photo taking, and then one long press, probably for a couple of seconds, it will beep and confirm that you're uh, recording. Okay. It has the fake antennas, guys. And this little blanking tab, you take that out and you put the uh, this little attachment in for your Wi-Fi FPV holder. Okay. So I'll do that in a second. I'll show you what it looks like. On the back here, we have a couple of buttons. 
but they are actually dummy buttons, guys. They don't do anything. They're actually fixed. All right, guys. And this will take your typical four AA batteries. All right. Okay. So I'll just fit that little um, attachment there. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so you just remove this little blanking plate that was on the top, guys. You clip that ball socket into the actual plate to hold your phone, and then it's just a matter of clicking it in there, guys, and you have a phone holder, okay, to put your phone in. So that's how that works, and you can swivel it to whatever angle you desire. Um, you know, if it's a bit sunny uh, and you've got a bit of glare, you can always tilt it down. Okay, so that's that. So what I might do is just quickly put the battery in, just to see the light combination on this one. Now it's got a, once you put the battery in, you've got a locking tab there that you twist. And there we have it. We've got the amber lights, just there. It'll probably beep like the original MJX versions to do a compass calibration. But uh, yeah, there we go. And we've got an indicator there in those vents there that uh, the Wi-Fi camera module is booting up and working. Okay. All right, well, I, th I think it's not gonna change the color combo or beep because I don't have the four double A's in it. So I'll just leave it at that, guys. Um, they do claim that the 1800 milliamp hour LiPo on this one will give us around 18 minutes of flight time. And they say the actual range of the SP700 is 1,680 feet uh, control distance. I'm not sure about the Wi-Fi, the 5G Wi-Fi distance, but that's the control distance, 1,680 feet. So that works out, I worked it out in metric, around 512 meters, which I will test out in another video. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for uh, tuning into this video. I know I got this one rather late, but... I think I possibly am the only guy uh, down under that has had a, the opportunity to have the SP700 in for review. So I thank Snaptain once again for their persistence in sending me out this pretty cool looking drone for review. So thanks very much, Snaptain. So the link will be in the description below as always, guys, if you want to check this one out for yourself at the Snaptain Amazon store. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment below and uh, enjoy the hobby. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.